Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. I've just been traveling a lot both for work and for personal and then I got sick and it was a whole thing. So here I am. Um, this year I want to do a couple of Halloween looks for you guys. Today I want to do that 3D spider look. I'm just not very, I'm not a very creative person so everything I do will probably be something already out there on the internet but I've never tried this whole 3D spider thing for myself and I was really interested in trying it. So here we are. This is also going to be a no face paint one. I will probably do a couple looks with face paint this year, but um, for this first one, I just want to do something simple without face paint. That way you can kind of like scrounge together what you have to do this as well. So real quick, what I'm going to do is start with a base. I'm not really going to go into it. Everything's going to be listed here down in the description box, but I'm just going to start with foundation. I'm going to set it, um, fill in my brows a little bit, but not too much just because I am going to have that spider there. Um, and also just like do a little bit of contouring and blush. Again, not going crazy there either. I really want the dark spider to stand out. And so I'm just kind of putting down a light base, with nothing super dramatic. Okay, so I've got a bit of a base down, um, nothing too dramatic, kind of just more natural. And right away, I am going to start with a black shadow. And this is the Anastasia eyeshadow single in Noir. And it is a really nice black eyeshadow. I'm just going to use it, pack it on both of my eyelids. We're going to worry about blending this later. Um, but yeah, just packing it real deep onto both of my eyelids, kind of above and below. So the reason I'm not being too careful with this on the top is because <clears throat> um, I do intend on blending it out with a different brush. So just hang tight. So next I'm going in with a fluffier brush, just using that black, blending that out. I don't think I'm going to have to use another color, but we'll see. I think this will work. Okay, so I think I'm going to do... <clears throat> my eye spider on this eye so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same black eyeshadow and I'm going to smoke out the bottom of that eye a little bit more just because I want that to be like the whole body okay you can always add but you cannot take away so I'm gonna start with this and if I need to add more black um, I will so for <clears throat> the legs I'm going to use if I can get this open I'm going to use this pretty vulgar eyeliner. This is a black pot liner. It is one of the blackest liners for sure. And I'm just going to pick that up on a, like a back of a brush. Like I don't, I had a spatula somewhere. I don't know where it is. And I'm going to take a small brush and just start drawing on the legs. Spiders have eight legs, but I think I'm going to add two more kind of like fangs um, near its head. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I am kind of putting two joints in the spider's legs, both above and behind, up, above and below my eye. And this is just kind of going off of like different pictures I saw on the internet. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot harder than I thought it was. I don't feel like my spider legs are very even, but here we are. Okay, so I have my legs and my fang. What I'm going to do now is take some of that black eyeshadow I was working with and pack that on some more so that the gel liner kind of blends in more with that eyeshadow because I feel like the shadow is a little bit light right now. So next I am taking that black eyeshadow again and I'm taking a flat, like a thinner flat brush and I'm going to start doing like the little shadows with it. So um, underneath the legs where it is like supposed to be more protruding out from my face, you want that shadow to be farther away from the leg and then you want it to like touch the tip of the leg um, when you kind of get close to the edge. So I did mess up my eyeliner up here a little bit so um, I'm going to use that as part of the shadow but we're going to see how this goes. I am like not artistic at all so we'll see. Okay so I feel like I might have gone a little bit too dark with this. I don't know, I hope it looks better on camera because like to my face right now, it just looks like I have way too many legs. So, <clears throat> this is one of those things where I'm like, should I have practiced this before I did it on camera? Okay, so next what I'm going to do on the legs to kind of make it look more 3D is I'm going to take this NYX eyeliner, um, and this is the shade white, of course, and I am, ooh, this one's a little old and a little crusty, 
but I'm going to take it and kind of just like dab it on the joints of the spiders that way like hopefully it'll look like it's protruding more out at you um yeah we'll see i probably should have thought this through a little bit more instead of just like looking up a pinterest picture okay so i'm just going to pop on some lashes real quick so this is the city color cosmetics uh be fatty lashes so i'll be right back so next, I'm going to take a combination of this LA Girl Sugar and Spice Liner and the Laura Cosmetics Trendsetter Lipstick. <clears throat> and I'm just going to line my lips and color them in real quick. I purposely picked these colors just because it's not like, you know, a, it's not like super pink, it's not super red, it's just like a kind of like a nice pinky color. Um, because I think what I'm also going to do is maybe have one come out of my mouth. Who knows? Okay, so for the one coming out of my mouth, what I'm actually going to use is this Atomic Makeup NYC um, liquid lipstick. This is in the shade X-Ray. I believe it's a limited edition one, so you might not be able to find this one anymore, but just take any old black liquid lipstick and that should work. So I'm going to take this and sort of plop it onto one side, like the bottom of my lips. And I don't know. I don't really have a plan for this. So we're just going to like put this kind of in my lips. I'm probably just... The ones I see on in the internet have like half a spider coming out, so we're going to go with that. So I am, however, going to go back in with that um, eyeliner from Pretty Vulgar just because I feel like it's more black and if I want it like on my face, I don't... Liquid lipstick on my face tends to like feather, so that's why I don't like to do that. So I'm taking the same brush. Um, it's a little bit crusty by now because it's been drying, but... I'm just going to draw like four legs, I think, um, smaller. Maybe I'll color my lips a little bit more just because it's not looking very black. So then I'm also going to take that same white eyeliner and the same black eyeshadow to create some shadows and some highlights. Kind of the same thing as I did before, um, just on this little guy. So lastly, what I'm going to do is pop some contacts in. Um, because why not, right? So this is the Viscun Color Contact Lenses. Um, this is in the shade, I don't know what the shade is, Cosmic Gray. So it looks like this, if I can get it to pick up. Um, and it should just give me like a little bit of a gray tinge, so I'm gonna pop those in real quick. My nails are kind of long, so I'm kind of struggling with this here. Okay, so that is it for my look today. Um, <clears throat> this was tough. And were there a couple of things I wish I would have done differently? Yes, but am I disappointed with how it turned out? No. I think it's. I think it still looks like a spider coming out of my eye and maybe out of my mouth. I don't know. Execution of this one wasn't quite as great, I don't think. But anyway, uh, so that is it for the first of my Halloween series this year um if there's anything specific you want to see from me let me know like i said i um, am not great with coming up with things myself i would love to keep recreating things like this i don't even know who came up with this in the first place but it is like all over and for me to recreate something is a lot easier than me coming up with something anyway i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial um feel free to use face paint if you'd like i think that would create a better result just because it's darker but i do like the way that this turned out with the black eyeshadow and with just like the black gel liner so happy halloween and i hope to see you at my next tutorial thank you so much for watching bye